Hey everybody, welcome back. So recently I've gotten a lot of emails as well as comments on recent YouTube videos on a very specific topic. So I thought I would address that today. And that topic is, what is trading edge? How do you calculate it? And ultimately, what does it mean for your trades? Now, if you're someone who's ever wondered any of these or pondered any of these questions and Google searched, what does this mean and how do I apply it to my trading and why is it even important? Then this video is for you. So in today's video, I'm going to give you two very specific pieces to this puzzle that are going to help you to calculate your trading edge. Now, the reason why you need trading edge and why you have to know exactly what it is is because if you flip a coin a bunch of times, you might get heads, then tails, then heads, then tails. But ultimately, I bet what's going to happen is you're going to catch a string of winners or a string of losers. Now, let's say you're flipping that coin and you take five straight losses. Now, if you were betting real money, would you be able to keep taking those losses, loss after loss after loss, without knowing, will this ever come back? If you've ever thought about this, if you've ever feared this, then that's where trading edge comes in for you. So you know it's very likely that if you flip the coin 100 times, you're probably going to hit the ballpark of 50 heads and 50 tails. So if you were going to place bets on something, you need to know that there's some sort of consistency coming due to mathematics and the law of large numbers. So if you have a trading strategy and you don't know what the edge is, then you're kind of throwing money at it, $100 here, $100 there, hoping it works. But what if you actually don't have any edge? And what if actually the market, the opposite side of you has the edge? Kind of like in gambling. When you're playing blackjack, the house has, you know, roughly a four to 6% edge on you. And that's why casinos are fancy. Vegas is huge because Vegas wasn't built on winners. So that's why this is so important to know, because if you want to apply the law of large numbers, which means be consistent and mechanical every day, taking the same setups in the same way, following your trading plan 100% of the time, you need to know what your trading edge is because you need to be able to sit through a string of losers, three, four, five, six. I've even heard of one trader, he had 13 losers right in a row. Now, if you didn't have trading edge or you didn't know what your trading edge was, would you be able to sit through 13 straight losses or would you just throw in the towel and say, I need to find another strategy. And that leads into another topic from an older video, which is you can't dig up a seed out of the earth to see if it's growing. You have to trust that it's growing and let it grow. So you can't keep throwing out your trading plan and switching to something new, much like you can't dig up the seed every time you wanna to check to see if it's growing. You have to be able to trust that it is growing in the soil the same way as you know you have edge, so you know in fact that it will work, you just have to apply enough occurrences. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, occurrences are just in or number. It's just the number of trades that you've put on on a specific strategy. And with a large enough sample size, it'll validate through statistics your trading edge and ultimately make you money. So what I did in today's video is we're going to jump into the screen and I'm going to show you a spreadsheet that basically takes into account the two specific items or pieces to this puzzle that you need to calculate your edge. Once you have those two numbers, then you can determine exactly what your edge is, accumulate a large enough sample size, and then apply it to your trading with live money in the live markets so that you continuously can grind out a profit day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year. So with that, let's jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you the two things you need to calculate your edge. And as always, if you have questions, drop them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so what I have up here is a spreadsheet with break-even calculations. Now, what you need to know about this is these are your reward to risk ratios. One to one, 1 1.5 to one, two to one, and three to one. Now, these can be whatever you want. They could be four to one, five to one, anything. I just picked four four common ones and put them up here. What these mean, so for example, three to one reward to risk ratio is, let's say your stop loss on a trade is 50 cents. That's your risk, that's the one. Now, triple that is $1.50. So you're risking 50 cents to make $1.50. With two to one, it'd be a risk of 50 cents to make $1. 
with one to one, it would be 50 cents to make 50 cents, okay? So that's what that means. And then win rate is ultimately how many times does your trade win? Does it reach target? The target being the one, the 1 1.5, the two, or the three. So let's say you go through and you put on, uh, let's say you put on 10 trades, or let's say you put on 1,000 trades. The first thing you need to do is you need to determine and collect information on the reward to risk ratios for whatever strategy you've determined that you want to use. So let's say you get your strategy picked out, say it's a moving average crossover and you know exactly when you're going to enter. And then what you want to do is you want to pick your stop loss based on whatever strategy you have. And once you have that stop loss number, that's your risk. So now what you can do is you can create a spreadsheet and say, okay, did this trade go one to one? If it did, say yes on your spreadsheet. If the trade goes 1.5 to 1, mark yes. If it goes 2 to 1, mark yes. And let's say it didn't go to 3 to 1, then you'd say no. So you're collecting data on whether or not a certain reward to risk ratio won or lost. Once you have all that data collected, you're then going to be able to tell what percentage of the time did you win and lose. So you will effectively have your win rate. So the first thing that you're going to need, the first piece to this puzzle for calculating your edge is you're going to need your reward to risk ratio. You need these, okay? Now, the second piece to this puzzle is going to be your win rate, which comes as a result of back testing 50 to 100 times using a specific setup and a specific reward to risk ratio. Now, don't collect just one risk to reward or reward to risk ratio. Collect more than one, collect four. I would say no, no fewer than four. That way you can compare them. Now, as you go through these, what you need to do is keep track of how many times you're winning and how many times you're losing for each reward to risk ratio column. Once you have that figured out, then you can go ahead and you can plug these in and you'll know your exact percentages for each one. And now you might be saying, oh, I know exactly what my win percentage is now. I can calculate my trading edge. Well, not quite yet because I want to show you another example, the sort of third thing that I haven't discussed yet, which is actual dollar value of the wins. So you might see 70%. I just made these up. I said, Let's say that this hypothetical trading plan I come up with, let's say it wins 70% on one to one, 10% when we do 1.5 to one, 20% at two to one, and 50% for three to one. You might say, okay, 70%, I've got this column, we're good to go. My edge now, I can calculate, I'm good to go. Well, hold on one second, because while 70% is good, if you actually do the calculations, say you take 10 trades, and on each trade your risk value is $100, then this scenario right here, if you win 70% of the time, you win seven and lose three, your profits are actually gonna be $400. Okay, so that's good, but let's come down here to the three to one. Let's come down to this column. If you win five times and you lose five times, your profit, and actually, let me make it bigger for you, is actually going to be $1,000. So you're winning a lesser percentage of time. Your win rate dropped by 20%. But because your reward to risk ratio is higher, you actually make more money. So what you need to do is get your reward to risk ratio figured out that you want to track and find out which one's working the best or winning the most. And then once you have those win rates set out, then you need to go through each one and see what if you apply a dollar value. I like to just do, you know, if you did 10 trades, it makes it simple. If you did 10 trades, you won seven, lost three. On this one, you won one and lost nine. You won two and lost eight. And on this one, you won five and you lost five. Just make a simple calculation of if I risk $100 on each one, then what would be my profit? And you just say here, okay, if I win, I win 100. If I lose, I lose 100. Over here, when I win, I win 300. When I lose, I lose 100. Now you can see the power there. 
So a lot of people will be sort of in the middle. I don't know many people that trade with one to one, and I don't know many people who trade with four to one and five to one. Usually people try to come in the center where they get a higher win rate, but they're getting a larger reward to risk ratio. They're not staying in this one to one, um, sort of one step forward, one step back scenario. They're actually 1.5 or two to one. And me personally, I do all my trading at two to one. So I wanna take two steps forward, one step back when I lose. Two steps forward when I win, one step back when I lose. Because ultimately I know if I catch a string of losers at a two to one risk to reward ratio, I can make up ground very quickly once I catch a small cluster of winners, which I know should be coming down the pike because I have trading edge. So now you're asking, my, you might be saying to me, Jimmy, what's my trading edge now if I decide, okay, I'm going with this one. It's 50% win rate. It is three to one, and I made $1,000. How do I calculate my edge? And what you do is you basically say, where's your break-even point? And from that point to wherever you are is your edge. So on these calculations, for one to one, one, to one, 1 1.5, two to one, and three to one, the break-even percentages are right here. So in order to break even on three to one, you have to win 25% of the time. If you win 26% of the time, you're profitable if you stay consistent. So from 25 up to 50, which is your winning percentage, that 25% difference, that is your trading edge. So this is how you calculate it. You go from your break-even point to whatever your specific win rate is, and that difference is your trading edge. And you have to be very aware of the dollar amount of the profit so that you can make the best decision for your trading strategy. Because at face value, a lot of people might have said, let's take the 70%. It's a larger win rate. It's a larger number relative to 100%. This might be more attractive or more appealing. And we could even take this lower and we could do that calculation right now. So let's say that on this one, so if we won... Let's make this 30%, okay? Let's say you won 30% of the time and you risked $100. So that means you had three winners at $100 and each winner is 300, 300 bucks. So that would be $900. Write that down, so $900. Now, the other seven trades you lost, so you lost one, you lost 100 on each one. So that's 900 minus 700. So where does that put you? Profit of $200. So do you see how that works? So at a 30% win rate on this three to one, you're gonna make $200 on 10 trades. Now over here, on those same 10 trades, at 70% on a one to one, you would make $400. So you can start to see how you can compare these. It's all on the ratio, that reward to risk ratio, as well as the win rate percent, and then you look at the dollar amount so that you can see which is the most profitable for your trading strategy. So I want all of you to ask a question in the comments below. If you have a question, ask it because I wanna help people dive deeper. I've gotten a lot of questions about this recently, so I wanted to put this out here so that people can start to understand what edge is and how to go about finding it, because it's kind of a mysterious thing, and it doesn't have to be. So if you have questions, post them below. If we need to do another video, we can do that. Let me know, and we'll see you next time.